Hello beautiful humans, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Taryn. Is that how that works? How that goes? Hey Taryn, welcome. I don't say. My name is Taryn and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Either way, my birthday was last week. I'm old. 27. I'm so close to 30. I'm so close to 30. God, that's so gross to think about. Anyway, I want to do a birthday book haul with you. A lot of these books I was gifted and I cannot say thank you enough to everyone who sent me books, gifted me books, any of those things. I, gosh, the love, the love that I have for all of you beautiful humans is insane. And then some of these books I bought for myself. So I figured I would just share them, give you a little haul and figure out how the hell I'm gonna fit them on my TBR cart. Maybe that'll be another, maybe that'll be another video. Okay, so first we have Getaway Girl by Tessa Bailey. This is one of the 12 challenge, challenge books that I am supposed to read this year. And that is 12 books to read over 12 months recommended by 12 friends. And uh, I mean, you guys know I'm a Tessa Bailey fan. And Sky, who gifted, gifted this to me, said this was her absolute favorite Tessa Bailey book. I mean, the cover, the cover doesn't really do it for me compared to like her other books, but if Sky says it's amazing, I have very high hopes. I don't know what it's about. The unlikely getaway driver never expected to help the mayor escape. It, I guess she goes to like her cousin's wedding, but her estranged cousin's wedding and the bride doesn't show. So then she is like the getaway driver for the groom and I think they fall for each other strange. Then I got The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Larry Reads posted about this book, I don't know, two weeks ago, and I automatically texted my best friend and I was like, we need to buddy read this because we're both huge fans of Criminal Minds and Jennifer Lynn Barnes. We both read the Inheritance Game series and Larry said that this was like Criminal Minds but young adult and there's like two or more characters that give very Spencer Reed vibes and Spencer is my favorite human on the entire planet. So very excited, ow, very excited for this. This is a, this first book in the series, I think there's four books, but I'm excited. Okay, I then picked this one up for myself and I never, ever, ever thought that I would pick this book up but it was at my used bookstore and I don't really pass up hyped books when they are half price. Like I feel like it's the perfect time to pick it up and see what that hype is about. And this book I feel like is hype for not good reasons. <laughs> like I've just heard the wildest things about the series. I mean, Penelope Douglas, I don't know where, where she comes up with these things, but well, we will see. I'll probably do a whole reading vlog on this if you guys are into that. Oh, somebody like highlighted in this. What is that called? Won't lie, kind of scared. I then was gifted the, comes first, The Serpent and the Wings of Night. God, these titles are so long. And The Ashes and the Star C Cursed King. Why can't I read? First of all, these are both massive, massive books, but I have heard absolutely nothing but good things about these. So once I get back in my fantasy era, I will devour these. I just feel it. But Fourth Wing has ruined me for all books. So we'll see when I get back in my era that these will be on the list of things to read. I don't know what they're about. I'm just kind of guessing that they're fantasy um, just by like the titles and the beautifulness of them. Fantasy always has the best covers. We also have Rock Bottom Girl by Lucy Score. I just, I mean, Lucy Score is just the love of my life. Angel Baby, she's amazing. So I plan on reading every single one of her books and this was on my backlist. So I was gifted it and I am very, very, very excited. Pretty sure this has to do with like, I don't know. I'm sure it's small town, grumpy sunshine and has amazing banter. That's my guess. There's a sticker on it. Who knew a fake boyfriend? Ah. Sorry, it, fake boyfriend, you got me, you know? Who knew a fake boyfriend could deliver such real orgasm? But it's all temporary. The guy, the job, the team, there's too much history. Rock bottom can't turn into a foundation for happily ever after, can it? I can't read today, I'm so glad. I'm listening to an audiobook right now. Okay, I have a lot of books on my backlist or on my TBR for Colleen Hoover. When I started reading, her books were like the one thing that I could read quick, easy, 
like they always i just i love her writing right and no i did not turn into one of those people who hate her writing no i still very much love her i just haven't been reading her book okay so i'm adding this to all of the <laughs> colleen hoover books that i still need to read but this is never never which is also written by taryn fisher and i have read a taryn fisher book before maybe two of them i think i've read two and they weren't my favorite but i am hoping that because this is written with both of them that i all like it so again i hope you guys know that this is a haul right so i don't know what any of these books are about so don't come for me when my descriptions are as bad as they are. Thank you. We then have Lotus by Jennifer Hartman. I believe this is the book that's kind of after Still Beating, where at the end of Still Beating, you hear about another guy who was like taken and kidnapped, not kidnapped. Yeah, and like kidnapped and held for a long time. You like learn about him in Still Beating at the very, 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 very end. And this is not a spoiler. See, look, to the rest of the world, he was the little boy who went missing on 4th of July. See? To me, he was everything. My heart hasn't been the same since he disappeared, but I've learned to build my life around the missing piece. 22 years later, the last thing I expect is for that missing piece to come back. His name is Oliver Lynch, and this is his history. Nope. And this is his story. 22 years? My god. I will say her books are very, 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 very heavy, but still beating. I gave five stars. It was amazing and i have heard really good things about this one as well but check triggers before you read any of her books i then got love light farms which i have already read but she's now signed she's under contract whatever with berkeley so they redid all the covers and i wanted all of my covers to match so we got love light farms and i want to go through and tab it the second time around this is such a cute christmas rom-com I loved it. And then I was gifted an entire series that I know literally nothing about. I've absolutely never heard of this series before, but Leah, who sent these to me, who is literally the sweetest baby angel I've ever got her. Mm. I love you, Leah. I, if you're watching this, I'm sure you will, but I love you. Um, she said that this series was absolutely amazing. Like, a Court of Thorns of Roses. Amazing. So this is Heart of Mist, Reign of Mist, and War of Mist by Helen something like that. I mean each of these books literally have more than four star ratings on Goodreads and Goodreads ratings are wild so if they're that high I have high hopes for these. Again once I'm back in my fantasy era picking these up okay these next five books are ones that i nope these next six books are ones that i bought myself and then the rest of them are all going to be gifted books but i grabbed dance of thieves by mary e pearson and i've just heard absolutely amazing things about this i love that i even bought myself a bajillion fantasy books and i'm not in i'm not in the fantasy mood right now so why did i anyway i've heard very 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 amazing things about both dance of thieves and vow of thieves i think it's just a duet and and uh, I just wanted to pick it up. I'm pretty sure this was like buy one get one half off at Barnes and Noble. And then the other one that I got in that little deal was Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. And I've just heard that this is like the coziest little mystery. And I don't know, it sounds like fun. Like it's in a fantasy world, but they're like making a coffee shop or like they opened a coffee shop and it's just like listening to the customer stories and getting to the, know the customers. And I feel like there might be a little romance maybe there's not a romance in here. I don't, I don't really know. Okay. I just, I've heard that it was a cute, fun, very chill fantasy. And I've never read anything like that. All fantasies are like heart palpitations, knee sobbing type of thing. So this will be a fun turn of events. I also found It Girl by Ruth Ware. This was also at my used bookstore. I don't know anything about this. I don't, I don't even know what genre it is. Like, is it, is it a thriller? Is it a mystery? I don't really know, but I did go on my birthday. So I felt the need to like grab a book and they didn't have the best selection that day. So I saw this and I was like, you know what? We'll try it out. I don't know. Have you read it? Let me know. And then the last three books that I bought for myself, I bought while we were in Savannah, Georgia. We went to a few bookstores up there and I grabbed my very first Stephen King novel. I got fairy tale. Um, it sounded like the least likely to make me shit my pants while reading <laughs> and not have nightmares, you know? I 
could very well be wrong. I, I don't know. So I'm pretty sure like there's a kid and he somehow starts like hanging out with this like old man. Maybe he's his neighbor. Neighbor. I don't really know. And gets really close with the guy's dog. And this neighbor has like a shed where like weird things happen all the time. But then the neighbor dies and he leaves the boy the shed. And so the kid finally gets to go into the shed and like it opens up a opens up a portal to a fantasy world. And let me know if this is where I should start um, if you're a Stephen King gal because I'm terrified. I also grabbed Some Shall Break by Ellie Marnie. This is the second book in the None Shall Sleep I don't know. I don't know if it's a duology. I don't I have really literally no idea. But None Shall Sleep is about two teenagers who like interview serial killers. And I was like, whoa, that sounds so cool. I have not read it yet. It's still sitting on my shelf. And this is like a continuation of that. It says the nightmare continues. Emma gets the window seat again. And I probably shouldn't read the back of it because I literally I don't know anything about the last one. But for the cover, I honestly just fell in love with. Let me show you the other one. Aren't they cute? So I really just saw the cover and I was like, ooh, let me pick that up. And then the last one I grabbed is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabriel Zevin. And I really grabbed this because it's a signed copy. And I have heard amazing, amazing things about this book. So I was like, I'm absolutely not passing up a signed copy of this book if it's going to be my next five star read, you know? I read so many five star books. I, I I literally give everything five stars, but you know what I mean. And I think this is like a love story about two people who like create video games, maybe. I think I also bought this for myself. This is The Weekenders by Mary Kay Andrew. And I just kind of figured that it was like the perfect summer read. Like it just looked like the book that I should bring to the beach when I go to the beach next. And the lady at the bookstore asked me if I had read her book before and I said no. And she was asked like, am I a southerner? And I said, well, yeah, I mean, I'm born and raised in Florida. And she said like, the lady is also southern. So her right, I would like her writing. Perfect. I feel like this is like an, sorry, there's a sticker on the back. I feel like this is like an old lady book, but maybe I like it. I also thought that Ellen Hildebrand books were old lady books and I really like that one. Maybe I'm just an old lady. All right, I also got three Sarah Adams books. So I read, I read The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. <sighs> when did I read The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams? Last month, month, the month before, I don't know. I read it this year and I genuinely loved her writing. I thought it was just so cute and very like rom-com, funny, easy reads. I think I gave the cheat sheet four stars and I know that the only reason I gave it a four star was because at the end, the guy was like, I wanna wait until marriage. And then two weeks later proposed and they eloped. So like he really wasn't trying to wait until marriage kind of thing. And it just, it gave me the ick, okay? But I do know that she writes very wholesome, not spicy books at all, which I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get into them. Okay. We'll see how it goes. I got practice, make, practice makes perfect the match and the enemy. Now these two are a part of her. It happened in Charleston series. And then this I believe is the second book after when in Rome, which I have not read when in Rome yet, but I don't know, this one like just came out and I've seen a lot of people talk about this one on book stuff. So these are the three books that I got from her or by her. And then I also got Don't Let Me Fall by Kelsey Ray. This is another one of the 12 challenge books recommended to me by a different friend. And uh, I don't know, let's, let's read. I love that I'm reading like only some of the backs of these books. I want a girl I can't have. She's my tutor, my best friend's girlfriend. Damn. And my kryptonite. Sorry. That like hit me and I was like, oh, like best friend's brother. And then I read it and I was like, wait, that says best friend's girlfriend. Anyway. And my kryptonite. She also looks really good in my t-shirt, but she wants the golden boy and I'm more of the villain type, or at least I was until I saw her smile for the first time. But the good guy she wants wouldn't lust after his friend's girlfriend and the good guy she's with shouldn't be sneaking around behind her back. So where the hell does that leave me? 
Oh, is it? Ooh, and it's dual POV. Okay, well, the guy's name is my cousin's name, so that's a little strange, but I'll get over it. Hannah is the one who recommended this to me, and I also trust her recommendations with my entire life, so. And I will link all of the people down, or I'll put, like, their Instagram handles down below so that you can go check them out um, if you want. I All of these people deserve shoutouts. Now, the last three books that I got are from my best friend, and I'm gonna show you another present that she got me because it's the cutest thing in the entire world, but I do already have these books but she got me signed copies of them. I have signed Abby Jimenez books. Are you joking? She like showed them to me while we were like trying to pack and get ready for or leave to Savannah so I like didn't have the time to like sit there and like appreciate them but I'm just so happy. I'm gonna start crying right now. So I have to go through and take all of my tabs out of my other books of hers and transfer them here. Oh God. And these just so happen to be my three favorite Addy books too. Oh God. And then let me show you the last thing she got. Those are all my books that I got. The last thing that she got me. Okay, if you don't know that I have a pug, I have a pug. Her name is Pepper and she's the love of my life, okay? That is my angel girl. As a bookmark. Literally somebody drew that. I love you, Nakoko. I know that she's gonna watch this. So those are all the books that I got for my birthday and I cannot thank anyone enough who took the time out of their day to tell me happy birthday, to message me, to comment me happy birthday, to send me a book, a gift, anything. Like I am just so, I was so overwhelmed that day because the love that I felt was insane and I just, look, okay, I love y'all and thank you so much. If you have read any of these books and you think that I should read one of them first, let me know which one you think it is. And I hope that question made sense. You know what I should probably do is drink water because um, I might have had too much caffeine today. My brain is actually not functioning. I hope you have an amazing day, night, week, month, and year. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. No, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I post my videos. I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, beautiful humans.